Hey everyone, so today I'm here to review a product from LuminousAir.com. This is the airbrush makeup system and it's in the version Epic. It's quite fantastic. I truly like it. So what you have inside this, let me set that down. It comes with a, I'm just going to pull this out, a compressor, which just looks like this. Your stylist, your tubing for the air to get up through this, the compressor. Um, I'm going to hurry and talk about the compressor itself and then move on to the other goodies that were inside it. On here it just has the standard feature where you can turn on and turn off. There's no speed adjustments like the other one that I reviewed. This one's just one speed that I've noticed and it works fantastic. This stylus, this one is the 30F13. It's amazing. It's really, really nice. It doesn't skip. It doesn't clog. It's fantastic. So with the Epic Machine, you can, on the side, there's a little thing that says video on or off. Now, what's really nice about this, if you're a beginner and you're not sure how to use it or you don't want to just read the manual, this has a video screen where you can learn everything on here. I'm going to turn it on, and at the very beginning, it just pops up. It's going to tell you congratulations for purchasing it or for receiving this. Here we go. Congratulations. You're about to change the way you apply your makeup forever. We're here to help you make that for So it goes through all the instructions. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show a lot of it on here, but there are quite a lot of features on here. If you hold this down, it's going to go to the main menu, which is this middle square right here, and it tells you press the square to learn about basic instructions on airbrushing. So we can toggle through on these two. The first one we have here is color matching. You're going to really want to watch this or learn how to color match. You get a few different shades, you'll just color match on your skin, make sure the color matches you best to your ability. Mix and mingle them. I mix all four shades, one, two, three, and four in the light set. And it really truly does work. I can highlight, I can a little contour a little bit with like the darker color. It really, they will mix together beautifully and you will find your perfect match. You may not just be a number one, you may need to have more color. So you're gonna color match. The next one you have here is how to minim minimize wrinkles and texture. Next you have just how to apply the airbrush system and then how to do eyeshadow. And then any questions you may have on this one and it will answer any questions. And then the last one is how to clean your stylist. And you can go toggle back and forth. So you'll have here like color matching, you'll press play and it's going to start talking to you about how to color match and she'll explain everything to you. Now you don't have to have that on the entire time once you learn it, and it's actually nice to have it as a refresher course. Sometimes you get your instruction manual, you read through it, you toss it in a drawer, or you throw it away. It happens, I mean, you lose things, but it's always gonna be on your system. So I'm gonna turn my system off so there's no more video. Now I just have my compressor, and it's ready to go. You have your on button right here. It's not terribly loud, um, I have it on a, t on a towel on my desk. That way it doesn't vibrate and shake so much. So the first thing that came in this box was the Skin Care Plus set. Now it just looks like this. In here you're getting four items and they are fantastic. The first thing you're going to have is the defense. This is going to help with pollution in the outside air or just any air that you're in and it really helps put like a protective layer on your skin. Next, you have the Tinted Moisturizer. This is going to help your skin get ready for your foundation, or you can wear it all alone, and I've worn it by itself before too, and it's fantastic. It really does even out all the redness. It won't cover very many blemishes if you have those, so just keep that in mind. The third thing is the Vibrant. Now, this has a brightening effect and you can wear it either alone or by its or with the products as well. And you can also wear it all day and in the evening as your nightly routine too. It's supposed to help um, give you nutrients in your skin and help the brightness come through. 
And last but not least is the nighttime, it's called Oxygen Treatment. Now this is really nice as well. It has a very subtle aloe and then sweet scent. I read the ingredients and there is some little ingredient there that looks like sugar. So that can, that's where I can smell like the sweetness from it. That is nice too. It also has witch hazel in it as well. And that's, you know, is like a toner. So I have used all of these products for two weeks, testing them all out and they do really work well together. The next thing that you'll get in your kit is the foundation kit. Now I have the fair light starter kit and it just looks like this inside you have your moisturizer which you'll start out with um, I will go through the entire review of how I use these products all together and I will show the steps that I use them next you have four foundation shades to choose from and I have one two three and four and as you can see they are all different colors from very very pale yellow undertone up to a darker pink undertone but don't be fooled by the colors. You look at it and go, none of those are going to match me. But when you are airbrushing them onto your skin, it's so light and feathery that it's not like swiping just a regular foundation on your face and you're like, oh, how do I blend that out? These blend seamlessly, which is really nice. It also comes with a blush and then a highlighter. Retails for $449. And... I do think it's quite pricey, I really do, but I also have the other version that I reviewed about three years ago, and that one was about 150 to 250 range. The compressor worked, it took a little, it took a lot to get going for it. This one, I'm not just saying that it's amazing, but the compressor blows so hard, like just perfectly, like it's a con constant airflow. And I, I kind of struggled with the other one that I had. It worked, but I struggled with it. This one I have not struggled at all. It flows perfectly through the stylus, through the needle tip. It just constantly is flowing, which is great. Um, you can check out the website links that I'll have down below. And then following this introduction will be like my review of how I apply everything. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. If you've tried airbrush makeup, Comment down below, let me know what you do and what you don't like about it. I find that I love it a lot. It's really fast to use. I can't wait to use it on other people to see like how they like it as well. But I've been using it for two weeks now. I've tested it through a whole week of work and it held up. We have been having crazy weather. It's been hot. It's been rainy. It's been windy and humid and it's crazy. And my skin, I have oily combination skin and it holds up well. I do use a little bit of powder though to set just my t-zone because I do get super oily and I just don't like how it looks but this is a full face makeup of it the entire thing from the skin prep to the primer to all the foundations blush highlight the full kit and caboodle so if you guys have any questions please let me know I will be happy to answer them and make sure you check out the links and head on over, check it out, look at their website, see what you guys like, and possibly pick up one. So I hope you guys enjoy watching, and on to the tutorial part. Have a great day. Alright, so to get started, you'll want to start with fresh, clean skin. Nothing's on my skin at all. I'm going to start with the defense. And this is for air pollution, environmental pollution. Anything in the air that can be harmful, it just really protects your skin. I take the stylus, I'm going to drop about six drops into the little well, turn on the machine, and then you'll instantly start to feel air blowing, and you're just going to swirl it all around your face and then down your neck and chest. Once it's done, I like to use the air just so it helps set it. You can just hear that the air is just blowing and there's, you can pull back on the trigger, not much is left inside there. Next I'm going to use the Vibrance. This is the Skin Brightening and it looks like this. It has a little bit of a, a yellow tint to it, but that will not come off. This has a, like a little bit of a citrus scent to it and this is just going, you can use this day and night. Um, same thing, just do about six drops. 
that's going to help brighten the skin and just start swirling. Make sure you go down your neck and your chest. Now that your skin is prepped, I'm going to start with the moisturizer. And this is just M1. You can do about four to six. So I've got it into the little well. I'm going to turn my airbrush on. And then I'm going to swirl all the way around. I'm going to make sure that I concentrate on my T-zone. And then just go down your neck and then finish it out. Before I start foundation, I'm really happy about this product. This is the Radiance Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm not sure if it's in a certain color. I don't believe so. I think it might be a universal. I also have the light um, foundation set. So maybe there is a darker one. I'm not quite sure. But this I like because it actually, it, it is a tinted moisturizer. It helps put down a base for your foundation. That way you're not using as much. So with this, I do use six drops of this one. And then pull back slightly and I'm going to do my entire face and make sure I do my neck as well. So once I have the tinted moisturizer on, I like to let it sit just for a moment as I get my other shades ready. You want to make sure you shake all the bottles. It's just There's a little ball inside so every all the pigment is mixed in. But as you can already tell, I'm not sure on the camera if you can tell, but my skin, it's already just, it's about one color. Like it really, once it sits on your skin, I think the pigments, they start to soak in and they start working together. So now on here, I like to mix two and three in the beginning. They're just a little, they're a little lighter. So you give them just a little bit of a shake. I will use three drops of each. So I'm going to take two and I'm going to drop three drops in. And then I'm going to take three and do three drops in. Now with this you're going to turn on your airbrush system and you can see that it's down in the well. I'm going to hold my finger over the needle and I'm going to back bubble, which is by pulling back a little bit. You can start to see that is just helping mix the colors. Now with this, I'm going to start on the center of my face and I'm going to work my way out and then center again and work my way up and out. Alright, that just gives me a base. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go only into number two and do three more drops. This is where I'm going to start concealing a little bit. So I have quite a few blemishes right now, but they cover really well. So you're going to hold back and I'm just going to swirl just over those spots right there. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Now I like using the lighter color for the blemishes first and then I will go over and do like a final spray of everything and that will help blend everything together. Once that sets just for about 20 seconds, I like to add a little bit more. I'm going to do three more drops of the number two and I'm going to cover again. Now I'm going to conceal under my eyes. It's just a little, it is a little dark. And while the rest of it sets, I'm going to take shade one. I'm going to do only two drops. And as you notice, I'm not cleaning it out. I'm using, I'm letting it all just stay in there and they all kind of like mix together. So for the under eyes, you'll just get a little closer and pull back softer. Now you can already see that it's starting to highlight there.
Okay, so I know it looks a little weird right now how I have a lot of like the lighter shade, but once I add foundation number four, I can use all four of them. I like to mix and mingle them. They really start to work on my skin a lot better. So I'm going to take number four, give it a little bit of a shake. I'm going to do three drops to start with, just since it's a little darker. Now with this one, I'm going to hold back a little further and I'm going to focus on the brightness and then right here on my center of my cheeks. The rest of it, it looks pretty good. Like it concealed really nicely. So I'm going to start here, do my nose, my chin, the rest of my cheeks, and then my forehead, whatever's left over. And dry it. So after letting the airbrush foundation set into my skin, it's been about a minute, um, I can really look at it and see if I need anything else. Right now I'm just really glowy and that's just from this. It's a little too glowy for me. Um, since I have oily skin I will be setting it with just a very translucent powder but not towards, not till the very very end. But as you can see it's actually really nice. It does not accentuate like my pores right here or in my, or on my nose. I do have fairly large pore, pores, which is really annoying, but it's what I have. Um, I would do foundation first, and then I do like the rest of my makeup. But so now I'm going to do. I'm not going to do all of that. I'm just going to leave my face as it is. I'm going to finish up with just the blush and then the highlighter. I'm starting with a little bit of translucent powder in the lid of the container and a big fluffy brush and I'm going to just sweep over very lightly in my T-zone. So now I'm going to finish up with the blush. This is in Tulip 3N. It's a very, really pretty color. So now what I'm going to do, I'm only going to add two drops. Now with this, less truly is more. It can become very pigmented and you don't want that. You don't want to look like a clown. Now I'm lightly pulling back and I'm swirling as I'm going up. Like I've already done two passes, but I want it to kind of sit there, sink in again. So I'm gonna just go to the other cheek. Okay, so I have run out of color. It doesn't last very long, but you don't need a lot. I want to let it sit for a second so I can just like let it dry. The very last step that I'm going to use is the Brightening Glow, and that's just in G1. It's a champagne under yellow tone highlight. So in this one, I will use three drops. I'm going to focus on my tops of my cheeks bones going up on both sides and then quickly straight down the center of my face. So turn on your machine and lightly pull back and with this one I'm not going to go in a circle motion, I'm just going to go up and down like I'm drawing a C. And then since I'm sure if you can already see it and then I'm going to go straight down my face and I'm going to zigzag back and forth. Just so it gives that highlight. And if you have any extra, I would put it below my eyebrow on the brow bone and then in the inner corners. Okay, so that is everything that I'm going to use on my face. It's very natural, it's not very heavy. I know it seems like I was using a lot of colors going back and forth. But when you're not talking and you're making a video, it goes so quick and you can get it done in less than, I want to say, seven minutes, ten, you know, it's not very hard to hurry and do. So as you can see, there's no line. It goes straight down your neck perfectly. Um, the blush color is perfect. It's finally setting into my skin. Like I said a few times, I 
really honestly think that the pigments inside all the colors, they really have to work with the chemicals in your skin or like the natural oils in your skin. Now this is what it looks like up close. It's not splotchy or weird. The only place where it's a little funny, but I don't have eyeshadow on right now, I would be covering it up anyways, would be like my eyelids where I kind of like squint a little bit. I can't do it with my eyes open. It I have contacts and it kind of puts a little bit of film on there and it drives me crazy. So I close my eyes most of the time. But that's what it looks like. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will have the, all the links down below of where you can purchase this system. Um, questions will be down there as well. I'll answer any questions you guys have and I hope you guys have a great day and if you get this I hope you do enjoy it. It's really nice and um, it's a great system. I really truly enjoyed reviewing it, playing around with it, using it. I will continue to use this machine and I will repurchase the foundations or actually anything that I run out of. I do truly like it. So if you guys have any questions please let me know and leave them down below. I will answer anything you guys have and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.